Right now, more than 2,600 Alabamians are confirmed fighting COVID-19 than this time yesterday. Yeah, let's take a look at the latest numbers reported on the dashboard. We're now nearing 330,000 total confirmed cases. Confirmed deaths are nearing 5,000, an increase of 115 in the past 24 hours. Presumed recoveries have pushed past 221,000. That's an increase of about 10,000 from last week. Now, the COVID-19 vaccine doses are rolling out across Alabama. Here's where things stand. Now, this was as of last Saturday. Saturday of Alabama's almost 272,000 allocated vaccine doses, more than 87,000 have been administered. Healthcare providers in West Alabama have struggled to vaccinate people in a timely manner because of a limited supply. WVTM 13 Chip, Chip Scarborough tells us about a push to pick up the pace. The DCH health system is anxious to vaccinate as many people as possible, even building this new drive through facility on its Tuscaloosa campus that's used for both testing and vaccinations. But the problem is having enough doses. We've received three shipments of Pfizer vaccination to date. A total of 7,800 doses, about 3,200 have been administered so far, leaving 4,600 available. The focus initially was frontline health care workers and first responders, but the Alabama Department of Public Health recently allowed DCH to expand that. To all hospital employees, which we immediately did, but we also uh, could begin making efforts to work toward administering doses to law enforcement, firefighters, and 75-plus-year-old uh, patients on uh, Monday. To the west in Greene County, the local hospital there is still waiting on doses. We're working with the Alabama Department of Health in relation to vaccinations. Hospital officials in Greene and Tuscaloosa counties say they aren't sure what the holdup has been in getting more vaccine doses. They say they're glad to hear the Biden administration plans to release all available doses. I just need the vaccine. Something that can't come soon enough. Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. And the vaccine demand definitely outweighs supply. In Alabama right now, the Department of Public Health says that they have more than 326,000 health care workers and nearly 350,000 people ages 75 or older. They're all eligible to get the vaccine starting on Monday, and that doesn't include first responders eligible then too. The CDC, uh, they want to warn you to be aware of the common side effects when you get the vaccine that may feel like the flu, but should go away in a few days including pain or swelling on the arm where you get the shot, or fever, chills, tiredness, headache. To ease the pain or discomfort in where you got the shot, apply a cool, wet washcloth over the area. Use or exercise your arm. Also, uh, make sure just to drink plenty of fluids and dress lightly. And though there are no more available appointments right now, you can call one of these numbers to get on a waiting list for when a spot does open. The number is statewide. Uh, the lower one is just for Jefferson County residents.